Greetings and welcome to this briefing on ideal politics and car news. Today, we'll be discussing Atera's most recent update, which includes details about its solar EV app, battery technology, and projected 2024 delivery dates. Let's investigate this in greater depth. Today, the solar electric vehicle, EV, startup Atera Motors posted a second status report video for February, providing some juicy facts continuing its much-needed degree of public transparency. The first look at the future Atera app, which promises a number of exciting features, is shown to you by Atera co-founder Steve Fambro. We also get to see some solar EV battery packs and some indications as to how safe a production vehicle will be. Watch the entire video below to find out more. There are several factors that set Atera motors apart from other original equipment manufacturers. The most evident is that, after a $34 million successful crowdfunding campaign, the California-based startup is actually the only one still attempting to bring solar EVs to full-scale manufacturing. This makes them closer than ever. Before we go any further though, if you are enjoying this briefing, do consider supporting this channel by giving it a like and hitting the subscribe button below. By doing so, you'll be helping YouTube understand your preferences and be able to receive updates on new videos as soon as they are released. I'm grateful. Now let's move forward. Furthermore, Atera consistently updates its YouTube channel with monthly updates on its solar EV development, keeping EV aficionados and its expanding fan base informed. In between those monthly videos, Atera HQ is also the source of a ton of news. For instance, in the middle of February, Aptera made their production intent build process available to the general public. One of the more fascinating monthly updates from Aptera was released today. Let's get started since there is a lot to cover in this. Here are the salient features of the 6-minute Aptera update video, which you should view first. First, the first glimpse of the new Aptera app, shown above, was revealed by co-founder and co-CEA, Steve Fambro. Owners of the Solar EV will be able to monitor and operate several features, such as charging and HVAC, from any location. They will also be able to view the real-time solar power accumulation of their vehicle when production builds of the vehicle are released. Following that, Fambro gave an update on the battery packs that will be used in the solar EVs. These packs were created and produced in South Korea by CTS as part of a supply agreement that was signed in December 2023. According to Fambro, Atera will receive some of the most energy-dense and safe battery packs in the EV industry from CTS, which is operating swiftly. In the upcoming months, Atera promises another update, and the first run of battery packs with full production purpose will be constructed shortly. Steve Fambro then revealed that Aptera will present its body in carbon, bin C, designed to the general public the following week at Czech World 2024 in Paris. According to the video, the co-founder of Aptera felt that February would be a great opportunity to showcase the years of hard work the company has put into the solar EV by teasing a crash scenario. The test video, which starts about 2.37, shows how the massive crumple zone in front of the solar EV absorbs all of the crash damage, while the passengers are protected by reinforced doors and a structural battery pack in the event of a side accident. Until Aptera can compare the data to actual crash tests using the production intent builds, these are still simulations. Furthermore, Fambro provided some really insightful explanations of what openness means to Aptera and the reasons it keeps up its monthly update posting schedule. One of our core beliefs is transparency, and we constantly work to put transparency first. What has brought us to this point is telling our narrative and inviting every one of you to walk with us. As a startup, it is our responsibility to remain agile and make constant adjustments to changing working conditions. Additionally, we have to accomplish this while being as truthful and open as we can. It's difficult to tread lightly. Launching a new electric vehicle, EEV, is never easy, let alone in this market. Tesla nearly failed to make it as well. I think Aptera is operating within the law in every way, a deserving design and business that is worth considering. 45,000 plus pre-orders, including mine, 
is a significant number. After providing an update on delivery schedules, Fambro delves into the query that has been on every Aptera reservation holder's mind. In order to assure safety, Aptera is now working on production intent builds that will be used for validation and crash testing. Fambro did, however, restate earlier remarks that more funding will be needed in order to bring its launch edition solar EVs into production. Fambro continued, Delivery schedules will be disclosed as soon as possible. Last but not least, Fambro announced that some changes to vehicle design will occur. They take these adjustments very seriously, adding that decisions are only taken if they result in lower capital expenditures for R and D in tooling. After partner supply agreements are formally finalized, Aptera are pledged to provide more details. For now, that is all. You can reserve your own Aptera EV for $70 right now if you want to join the solar pack. You may view the entire Aptera February update below, as promised. Aptera Motors, which just concluded a successful crowdfunding campaign to raise funds and reserve spots for its first 2000 solar electric vehicle builds, is providing a first peek at the production ready design that is presently being completed in Italy. In the video below, find out more. So far in 2024, Aptera Motors is utilizing the power of the sun to make positive progress toward the formal launch of the much-awaited production of solar-powered electric vehicles. The launch edition version of the Aptera Solar EV, a pre-configured design, will be the first to go through that process. It will be given priority to the more than 2,000 investors who have pledged at least $10,000 to the Startups Accelerator program. Additional reservation holders who wish to be among the first cars off the assembly lines but do not require the commemorative badge will come next. Starting in early 2022 and ending earlier this month, the Accelerator program raised around $34 million to support Aptera in purchasing other technology and equipment needed to finally start solar electric vehicle production in Italy with the assistance of CPC Group. Even though it's still months away from production, Aptera seems to be getting closer to finished aircraft and is letting the public see how its production intent design is put together. Although Aptera's namesake solar EV hasn't yet been seen in real life with production purpose, the startup has provided us with the finest preview to yet, with a stunning video of the construction process that was uploaded to X this week. Experience Aptera come together. A glimpse of the production intent build process happening in Italy right now is the caption for the video. The one-minute film shows the Aptera Solar EV as a body in carbon, bin C, anchored with six structural parts installed, doors, unpainted body panels, and wheel housing. Next are the solar panels, which according to Aptera have the following range capabilities. With just the sun, that adds up to a daily potential range of up to 40 miles. Let's discuss the ideal EV for commuting. Aptera Motors continues to hit milestones and is currently the industry's best bet at successfully delivering scaled solar EV production, even though there are still a few more races to be won, sadly. First deliveries of the company's launch edition solar EVs to accelerator investors and beyond are still some ways off. Although the accelerator program is no longer in operation, reservations are still being accepted for Aptera vehicles, including the launch edition. For $70 down, you may reserve your own Aptera by clicking on the following link. I hope this briefing was able to provide you with some relevant information. And with that, we wrap things up for the time being. I appreciate you watching .sayu in the next video.